Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marky of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. This morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words Fatal Desperation. And I'm going to talk about the story of a man that I really like to investigate that person and his name is King Saul. Now one of the things that I liked about Saul was, I mean, the Bible says that he was a goodly guy. I mean, he was, he was a nice guy. In fact, he was taller than everybody, so I'm, I'm tall. I, I believe I'm tall, anyway. And as a result of that, from his shoulder upwards, he's taller than the whole of Israel. But the Bible says something about him. When he came into power, he literally wiped away witchcraft from Israel. He went after the witches and said, you can't operate. We can't have a dual religion in this place. We can't do it there. And so he went after them and just tried to exterminate them. But the Bible says, getting towards his latter end, getting towards his latter end, to my biggest surprise, when the Bible says the Spirit of God has departed from him, when he was in torment, do you know who he went to see? He went to consult the witch at Endor. Hmm. He was so desperate that the things he knew that were, were, were wrong, that God hates, that was an abomination. Because witchcraft was an abomination to the Lord. God says, I hate it. I don't want it. And God empowered him and said, remove them from the land. He got so desperate that he needed a solution to a problem that he had, that he had no other alternative than to go and, to, to go and consult witchcraft again. Listen, I have seen church people you get it? Go, go, go to church and all those things. Then let there be some, something that they say, let us resort to the occult. And some people vainly say and, 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 and foolishly say that the occult provides quick answers. Is that so? Is that so? And, and that's what they, they do. And, and sometimes, hey, listen, don't allow your desperation to make you sink into the gutters. Don't allow your desperation. Don't allow your, your desperation to make you do things. And I'm not only talking about people consulting the occult. You see, goodly people, and out of desperation, they resort to things that you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Those are fatal desperations. That's not good. And that's exactly what Saul did. You, you've done well so far, then at your end, at the end, look at what you're doing. You're consulting witchcraft. At the end, you're resorting to games and schemes. You're resorting to things that doesn't bring glory to God. What are you doing? Why? Why have you started so well? And that was what Paul said to the Galatians. You're running well. Oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Having started well, now do you end up with this? Having done so well, that not, is this the road you want to go? Come on. But that's just the nature of people. When we get desperate, then we resort to measures, we resort to things, we resort to conduct that is unbecoming of God. We resort to things, we, we resort to doing things that bring shame to, to the house of God. Why do you want to do that? No, 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 no. Please. It doesn't fit. That's not the best. So guess what? Saul, having started so well, his end was fellowshipping with witchcraft. Things that you have left behind, things that you have abandoned, now has become your daily practice because of desperation. Fatal desperation. Choice is always yours. See you later.